Hey, farming peeps, how we doing? Tosher 12 here. And we got some mods yesterday. And we got some more coming down today as well. We got the uh, Homer DLC pack coming down today. So if you actually got an update on your PlayStation 4, that's probably why they're updating the, the, uh, the actual the background information on the maps and stuff so it will handle and hold the uh, DLC. I'm not 100% on that, but that's what I'm guessing. Okay, so let's get into this. Because there's a few things here that I think is just cool that I want to try out. So, first things first, that little doodad right there, this is a long time needed. It's a gripping bracket. So when I get stuck, I can take my grapple from my uh, logging truck or uh, the attachment on the... Uh, in the forestry on the trailer and I can get myself unstuck if I can find it like the gripper you know like that but crane style like this one or like this one yeah like that in there something like that get unstuck because we all know I need it. I need like a 50, 60 foot chain, honestly. Sometimes more. <laughs> a wrecker, a tow truck. A tow truck, should I say. I do have AAA. I wonder if it works in game. Be nice. The author of this is Swedish Bone Team. And it's available for all plat platforms. <laughs> I can't talk this morning. And it's under miscellaneous tools and miscellaneous and boom there it is and two slots not bad for when you need to get pulled out the only bad thing about that is is for it to work it has to be already on the tractor of course i guess you could uh, just grapple it and take it over there with the you know machinery or something and then attach it to the tractor then that would work. And, boom, we have a fertilizer spreader. This is not bad. It is somewhat customizable. It's the uh, Kuhn Axis 402 Plus Pack. It's a uh, Melos 0397 is the author. It's available for all platforms. Capacity is 1,400, 1,900, or 3,200 liters. Price is 16,500. 24 meter spread. And, of course, it is under fertilizing technology. And, boom, there it is. Now, it is customizable with the, the amount, the sizes and stuff. And that's it. That's all you have on that. And it takes up six slots. So there you have that. Not bad. Be neat for like small farms. I think that'll work out pretty good. And here we have the new agro liner. This is an auger wagon. So, and it's kind of a smaller one, but it works. Uh, DTP Mario is the author, available for all platforms. It is under the auger wagons. It's uh, 27,500, capacity is 21,000 liters. Boom. And there it is. Now you do have some uh, customization that you can choose. You can either choose the uh, main color design, which would be here, and the rim color and the main color. So you do have some options for your your designs, your wheel brand, the basics, and setups are basics. 
and then design a white color as far as your stickers and letterings. And that's it. That's, I mean, it's, that's, it does what it's supposed to do. It's an auger wagon. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, really. <laughs> Here, boom, we now have the pack available. Oh, there it goes. The Man TGS Agro Truck and Kroger HKD pack. We have it. Boom. The uh, price for the truck is 150000 It's 460 horsepower to 480 horsepower. Its capacity is 13500 The trailer here, boom. It's uh, the HKD402. The price is 35000 and capacity is thirty one five, which I couldn't find that anywhere that matches exactly in game as such like that. So I went with the next best thing, which was what I could find. It says it's thirty two four and it's for thirty seven five. So I think Either I'm not looking correctly. I think I may have found it. Nope, 31.5. See? Something's not. Oh, that's capacity 31.5. But the price difference, 21. Hmm, there it is. I had the wrong trailer. Anyway, it looks close to the same, but it's the price difference. It says it's thirty-five thousand, and it's twenty twenty-five here, but it does haul everything, and it takes up five slots, so that's a plus. And you can change the wheel color and the main color, so you can change that up. And the lizard. Well, if I can, there we go. Now you can change all this, the standard brands of the tires, wheel setups, and all that. Okay, so it's it's kind of like that in just different color. And here is our truck. Boom. And there's your grain doors. You can actually choose the doors or it's a tip. Hey, an actual horn. Wow. That's amazing. That kind of surprised me first I heard that. I do like the truck, though. So, oh, boom. Five slots for that same trailer, too. Then there is the truck at 24 slots. My goodness. Whew. Dang it. But, hey, kind of cool. It's, of course, it's in the, uh, the vehicles and trucks. And boom, scroll over to you see the very end right there, the TGS 18.500. Uh, boom. And uh, you can change the wheel color, the main color, and if it lets you get to it, the design color. So you can change it all up, make it look really goofy. Give it a clown car look. <laughs> as Ryan, as Ryan would say, uh, and in your regular standard uh, wheel assortment there, cool looking truck though. I'm liking that. It is a cool looking truck. Looks like it'd be a little bit of a hoss too. So uh, pretty cool. I'm liking that. Now we have a couple of trailers here, and I'm going to call them cousins. Because the Strotmans <laughs> has brought in a, has, has brought us a couple of the trailers. It's the uh, Strotman PS twelve oh one and the Strotman PS twenty two oh one. The authors, or yeah, authors for both is FBM dash Lucas two thousand two slash F. BM dash 
D Dejo, D A J O E. It's available for all platforms on both of them. So here you have the 2201, and there you got the 1201. Slightly a little bit of a difference. Tandem, single axle. And Here's the, I think it's manure spreaders. Here's the difference on those. Boom. Price for one and horsepower, working width, and capacity. So, of course, there's uh, some customizations as far as the wheel brands and the wheel setup on both of them. But that's about it on that. Uh, on the 2201, you have a wider working width and it, uh, more capacity for leaders, but it takes more horsepower to operate it. So that is a difference in it. Whereas the 12.5 working width, which is less than half. So there's your differences in that, that and the price. Oh, and the slots on that. Boom. Five. Oh, wrong ones. Look at the wrong ones. Oh, four and a four, so not too bad on that. Four piece on that. Slot on the truck is 24. I'm not too fond of that one. So that's a little crazy. Kind of sucks if you ask me. But it is what it is, I guess. And our hedge. We have a placeable hedge we can do some decoration with. So I thought it was kind of neat. You cannot drive through it. I've done tried. It does not work, I promise you. It is a stout hedge. It has a good root system. Author is Lacey Boy and Shy Wizard. Available for all platforms. And it's in the placeables. And it's under decoration. And scroll over all past those trees right through there. And there it is. Boom. And we go to the garage. And we find it in here and see what the slot count is on it. Yep. And I have the new farm set up here on aggro. So you still get it set up on four slots. So there it is. And... Last but not least over here, we have a new bunker. Boom. Fairly good size, too. I'm kind of anxious to use this. Uh, it says it holds the uh, 1.8 million liters. I guess we'll find out. The price of it is $35,000, cost you $45 a day. Gamer HZS is the author, and it's available for all platforms. And, of course, it's under the placeables and uh, silos. And scroll past all those bunkers. And, boom, there it is. And go to your... Oh, I guess I passed it, didn't I? Yeah, I got all the barns set up. Got the land sold. Got two slots on that. Not bad. I'm happy with that. That's pretty cool. So I'll be using that. It may not be in this exact location, but I will be using that, that's for sure. Hope everyone liked it. Hope everyone likes the new farm because uh, it is set up here. We are actually off and running. Uh, I'm liking it. I think it's cool. Getting used to it still yet. But since the other farm sold, we had to do something. So I bought another farm. And here we have it. I'm still getting set up, as you can see, because I've still got some stuff being delivered and stuff ordered. and So it's everything's on the way. Everything's going to get back to normal. Oop, speed bump. But I had uh, some buildings put up the other day, thanks to the hand, local handymans around here. So, hope everyone likes it. Thumbs up would be great. Subscribe if you hadn't already done so. And until next time, we'll catch you later.